Hi, Joe Stroni, CAD 107 Introduction to 3D Printing, with an update on our 3D printed box project. So I went through and I printed the box project, and here's what it looks like. I've printed the top half and then the bottom. And I've just got two different colors now, but the colors aren't really that relevant. What I'm finding is, is that there's a little bit of play within the top, within the connection for the top box and the bottom. And so I'm gonna make some updates to it, but before we go and have 15 students turn in projects with the same design flaw, I thought we could take a look at it. And so what I'm gonna do here is to take a quick measurement. I'm gonna set up my <clears throat> micrometer to read in millimeters. I'm gonna zero out my caliper. And so I'll, I'll bring it in, make sure that you clean it off and then we'll zero that out. And so we'll just click on zero. My apologies for the camera work, I'm working upside down. So once I have it zeroed out, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the mic to measure how much the box depth is. And so as I put, as I use the micrometer, what I find is that it's 10.6 millimeters. And then the existing one that I have here measures out to 1.9. So we can take that measurement and we can calculate out if we have 10.6 and 1.9, we have 8.7 millimeters of uh, clearance that we can use. And so what I would do is I would increase the height of the existing ledge here to a good eight to eight, 0.5 total height. And then there is a little bit of wiggle room this way as well. And so another measurement that we want to take a look at, and if you don't have one of these micrometers, I'll make a video, I'll include it where you can purchase one of these. They're about $10. And so I'm going to come out here and measure this. Let me see if I can turn myself upside down here. And so my measurement here is approximately 64.5 and it should be even the other way. So let's see. Yeah, so it's perfect. 64.5 by 64.5 which means that my 3D printer is properly cal calibrated. So I'm gonna write that value down. And I'm gonna take a measurement on my box and see how much clearance I have. And so you can see it, it's visible. Um, and I'm gonna bring that back. And what I'm getting is 63 even. And if I go this way, 62.8. And so that's typical. 1.5 millimeters of clearance. And so what I would do is I would expand this ledge by one millimeter and that should tighten it up. You could probably have a little bit more, you know, 1.3 millimeters, and then we'll reprint those and see if we want a nice tight fit that kind of snaps on. And then the other aspect that I wanted to include in this video was to see how my inserts turned out. And so I've I printed the inserts. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a piece of tape on them because I flip them over upside down so that the clear side, so that the glass side. And so by putting tape on there, it keeps them from flying around the room. And then I'm gonna move this one out away. I do notice one other thing as I'm working with these and that's that the, you see how these ridges are on the top of the box here? And that's caused by the extrude being too close to the, to the pallet top. It's, it actually kind of made the glue, um, kind of the glue. So let's see how these fit. So we'll take this off and we'll try dropping it in. Not bad. In fact, it's, it's really quite good. It does have a little bit of, like I say, like an elephant's foot. Like there's just a, a tiny bit of a ledge here. So feel free to take out your files and your manicuring instruments and you can work with those. But the fit is what we want. We want a nice tight fit between the plastic parts so that they are visually appealing and they work for us. And they're actually really quite tight. And so as I push these in, there they go. You can hear that snap. So let's finish the assembly and I'll end the recording. This is the stickiest tape. Sorry about that, I had the camera in the wrong spot. So as I put these in, what I do is I use the... Yeah, 
And I would also use a little bit of adhesive or super glue. So I may pop these back out and then use some adhesive to put them together. And so this is um, our technique that we're using right now to create dual color. Uh, we have other options as well. And it completes this video for 3D printing our box.